Hi guys, so moving on to the next question. Okay, what do you mean int where 1 is equal to 5? Let's suppose we have a variable where 1 the value is 5 and where 2 the value is 10. Let's suppose the address is 100, let's suppose this is 200. Now, int star ptr1 is equal to address of br variable 1. It means your ptr1 is pointing at 100, your ptr2 is pointing at 200. Now you are passing the address of ptr1, right? So, and that is getting stored in ptr2. So, ptr1 value is 100, ptr2 value is 200. Let's suppose the address is 1000 and let's suppose the address is 2000. Right. So you are passing address of PTR1 that is getting stored in PTR2 and address of PTR2 is getting stored in PTR1. It means, uh, so this PTR2 is containing address of PTR1 which is 1000 and PTR1 is containing address of PTR2 which is 2000. So variables see both the things in here. Okay. Or man who is address 5000 hai or is address 6000. This PTR belongs to this function. This PTR belongs to this function. Now we have taken a variable in star star i and i i is equal to star PTR2. See PTR2 value is 1000. This PTR2 is pointing here. PTR2, right? Right, and your PTR1 is storing what? 2000. So they are pointing your PTR1. Fine, so these are these values. Now, star PTR2 is equal to IR. PTR2 is pointing at 1000. 1000 star is 100. So your II is pointing at this 100. Fine. Then what we are doing? Star PTR1. Star PTR1 is 200. That 200 we are assigning to star PTR2. So this changes to 200. Right? So what we were doing? Uh, star PTR1. PTR1 is pointing at 2000. Star is 200. This 200 we are assigning to PTR2 star. So this changes to 200. Right? Now, I i is equal to star PTR1. The value of I i is now 100. This 100 we are assigning to star PTR1. So PTR1 is this. So this changes to your 100. Value of I i because of this I i was containing star PTR2. So this is 100. This changes to 100. Now in this line what we are doing, we are writing that star star PTR1 is equal to star star PTR1 multiplied by star star PTR2. So see, PTR1 is pointing to what? PTR1 is 2000, star of this is 100 and star of this 100 is 5. So this is 5, right? This is your PTR2, right? Now PTR2 is 1000, 1000 star is 200, 200 star is 10, so 5 into 10 is 50, right, so 50, and that 50 you are assigning to what star star PTR1, PTR1 is this, star is this, star of this is, this, this changes to 50, right, now moving on to the next expression, that star star PTR2 is equal to star star PTR2 plus star star PTR1. So PTR2 is pointing at 1000, 1000 star is 200, 200 star is 10. So this is your 10 plus star star PTR1. PTR1 is pointing at 2000, 2000 star is 100, 100 star is 50. So this is 50 plus 10, 60. And 60 you are showing to star star PTR2. PTR2 is 1000, star is 200 and 200 star is 10, you are changing this to 60. Great. So now, the, when the control goes back to me, you are printing variable 2. The value where 2 is 
60 and the value of where 1 is 50. So answer is 60, 50. Pretty interesting question, right? Okay, take care, guys.